enters. A room full of friends. A room full of enemies. <laughs> Welcome to the Night Vale. And good morning, Desert Bluffs! Don't we have a fantastic show in store for you today? Hey, Cecil? We're gonna start today's show with the community calendar. Stu, the cockatoo, is new at the zoo. You can also find him at the Arbitor in the Night Vale's Speaking of which, Hiram. Yeah, Cecil, buddy, I have brought this up with you before. I don't like the Night Vale Zoo. Oh? I find the idea of keeping animals in cages mildly offensive. We have no quarrel with the Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> like the Greenhead says, everybody's gotta eat. That is very true. I would move that we close down the Night Vale Zoo and free the animals inside. That's an interesting point. Grace, that's old woman. I would say that if we're going to close the zoo, then the only likely place the animals will end up is in the abattoir. This is also true. Well, in that case, more for me. I have to say that's true. What do you think, listeners? Any ideas? Does anyone have any questions here in our live city office? Office audience! Cecil, audience! I'm not used to a space this big. Me neither, it's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, there's a chance one. <laughs> Unrelated to the uh, zoo topic, I uh, just had a question for the faces old woman. Of course. You lived in people's homes? Uh, yeah. I, well, I live in a house, obviously, but for most times I live in a castle, Hogwarts, it's my school, and uh, you, you see a lot of people, right? I'm sorry. Do, I'm... Do, do, do you, like, dwell in Hogwarts every now and then? My personal life is currently none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Good enough answer. Just tell me one thing. Does Lily ever talk about me? I need to know. <laughs> oh, James. Carlos, how do you? You know, let me check something. Is this aimed at us? 
You know something? Yeah, that's a good idea. I've never seen so many other handsome blondes in my life. I have to say, there are so many of me today. What are you doing to those poor people, Carlos? Reading them. Reading them? You don't do this. Don't? What was the reading? What did you, what did you get? <laughs> they're good, they're good. It's all right. Yeah. Right, I've seen no threats. I've seen no threats here. Oh, good. Oh, good, great. Just let's, let's move on. Any more questions? Yes? Oh, you got it. I can stay here. Uh, I'm new here. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either, and isn't it snazzy? What's your favorite animal to eat? Oh, oh, okay. Well, let's start with the Well, on occasion, I do like a good slice of beef. Beef is good. Beef is good. Violet. I, I prefer you to call me Violet. But in terms of animals to eat, I quite like mice. Mice. <laughs> How exciting. Hey, on the other hand. That's enough. That's plenty. So? And we have no live murders today, 
Well, there goes my next act. <laughs>
that was traffic. <laughs> Yay! I do love audience participation, don't you? Which brings us around. Do we have any more questions from our semi live Right there. Right there. Friends. <laughs> I like it. Everyone's so friendly. Right. Um, since Strexco attempted to give Korshak a new pet, uh, buddy pet and kind of completely failed at that, uh, for Harold and the Face of Soul Woman, uh, if you were ever at one point elected mayor, would you attempt to give Korshak a companion? Uh, what would it be? And would it be floating in a fixed point or would it be maneuverable? That is a very interesting question, very in depth. I like it. It's like he thought this through. You're handy. We're keeping you. Let's see. For Koshak, I would give them a meatloaf. Floating in a fixed point in space. A meatloaf from which spiders pour out at random intervals. Well, that's exciting. That is exciting. What about you? Well, to be honest, I would say that given a floating cat in the town's community radio station, a new friend is not at the top of my priorities list. <gasps> I have a lot more important things to be doing, like counting all my gold and seeing to it that small children business owners get a fair deal on their taxes. So not quite a heartless capitalist then. Not quite. Ooh. <laughs> so, shall we have more questions from the audience? Ooh, this one's colorful. Wait. Look, oh. it's, it's oh. so shiny. Can I touch? Can I? Can I? Oh, touch it. You don't let me touch it. <laughs> Just ask the question. This is for Cecil. How would you react if um, Carlos changed his hair color? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, ooh, we like 
you. He's friendly. James, was it? Yeah, we'll bring up the hair. Carlos, yep. question. Yep. My hair, I can't do anything with it. It's no. How do you... It's a total mess. <laughs> you shut no. up! No. What? I was actually being... Okay, no, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, also, because you know I'm getting older, and I know when I am older, I'm gonna put his on. Because obviously you're gonna get older. That's what wizards do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, do you think I could pull off that dignified grey? Do you think? Oh, oh, totally, totally. But awesome. I, I, I saw this with my own concoction. It's actually got to be in a concrete mix. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's exciting. I have one, so I'm just gonna use that. Uh, no concrete for me. The what? Yeah, okay. Hardly, it's a wand. I do magic. He does magic. <laughs> it's okay. Hi, science person. I'm a magician. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that exciting? More from that guy later. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to leave the people alone. That's what I was told, so it goes for you too. Hi, you're friendly too. This is for you, actually. Oh, for me! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. You have very lovely sharp points, too. Oh, thank you! I file them myself. Oh, God. Well, it doesn't if you had any other part of your body which needed to be sharpened, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> I got the reference. <laughs> I was about it, don't know what you lot were on about. I'm going for sharper hair. That's what you meant, right? Yes. Sharper yes. hair? Yes, 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 yes. I'm going for sharper hair. Though your ears are adorable, do you mind if I borrow them? Kevin. Hi. Don't discover the audience. It's borrow, it's not dismembering if you give them back. <laughs> No, they're, they're pretty on there. They're pretty on there. You don't have any weapons on you, do you? No, she does. She <laughs> um, does. Question. 
too much. It's too much. Kevin's 
are not good at the Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Hello, we're community outreach officers from Strux Corps. Yay! And this is some very recent bad press we've been having. We are having a giveaway of free baby Strux pets. Would you like one? Oh my god, I it's want one. It's much less spicy. No. His teeth haven't grown in yet. And so there aren't any of it. So he's not going to down. Oh, wonderful. I can't finish them. Listeners, this is wonderful. Throw me a Strux pet. Apparently, I mean, it. I mean, it. Very well. Oh my God! Are you all right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I'm going to so name him Jeff. He's going. I have him. care instructions here for you. Ooh, I can't breathe. But that's okay. <laughs> what? Lots of people can't breathe. That's true. That's true. Okay, the one with the horns, because you've been there for a while, and I can use my legs. Oh, this cardio! Would you like a cookie? I would love a cookie, but I have teeth in right now. And as we all know, you can't eat the teeth in! It's very true. It takes them out, it's just like a sucker. <laughs> Why are you laughing at? Absorbs things. Like so people. Jobs. I, yes, I do. I'll put it in the other pocket. Things you I eat, would. things you don't. Like yeah. Strength, pet, and the pet rock. Can I? Yeah. Thank you. Barlow's. Would you like not to No. Oh! Oh. You can get this one. It's a scientist. I'm allergic to those. Where? I ate one once and oh, the rashes, they were not pretty. I don't want to know. Nobody wants to know. I'm sure some people want to know. Uh, question for the faceless old woman. Of course. Uh, if you're in my home later, would you mind turning off the blue beaker under the burner? I'm not sure what that will happen if it's on too much longer. But thank you. I left some of your favorite stuff by the DVDs you reorganized last time you visited. Oh, why, thank you. I'll make sure to turn it off. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was helpful. <laughs> Are there any more? Any more amusing questions? Oh! Hi there. It's still Hello, uh, just to check, Kevin. How do you run your radio show in Desert Books if you can't read? Thank you! <laughs> okay, I was going to... I like you. You're pretty. Stop changing the subject. I was going to give you a bit of cookie, but seeing as you're biased against the illiterate, ooh, cookie for you. Thank you for that. I run it perfectly fine, and thank you very much. Cecil, how did you cope when Carlos was in the desert? Well, Carlos had his void buddy. <laughs> I called. We I stayed in touch. I mean, I when I remembered to, I at least once a week. I would receive messages, and you know, I knew he was alive, and you know, it helped. Some. Really good signal. You get really good. You said that. You said he has really good signal. And yeah. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. It's spelled Wi-Fi, but it said Wi-Fi. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that. <laughs> I, I dealt um, relatively well. Um, I think I did well. It was well. Not me. Well. <laughs> we got a condo. No, we did not. <laughs> no condos. Oh. We nearly got a condo. We nearly got a condo. Uh, well, that's not really getting a condo. <laughs> I just remembered I have ears on. <laughs> I was actually just going to point that out. Um, well, yeah, we almost had a condo, which is not like having a condo, in which case you would have a condo and that you own, but we don't, we actually don't own a condo, but we thought about having a condo, so we almost did. <laughs> For reasons. Harm, do you have a condo? Or do you live in a cave? Like, how do dragons do the thing? 
I prefer not to talk too much about my personal life on the radio, Cecil. I'm sorry, I'm not going to answer that question, Kevin. That's okay. Someone has a sense of professionalism. I admire that. Thank I still have your job. <laughs> <laughs> Who do these belong to? <laughs> oh, cool. You have to remember whose body parts you've taken, therefore when you give them back, it's not harvesting organs. <laughs> potato, potato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> potato, tomato, tomato, potato. <laughs> uh, this is aimed at Carlos. Yep. Uh, and knowing how jealous I can be, I can see trouble coming from this, but my Carlos has been missing for a while, so this is for you. Oh my god. <laughs> Things, things that live and I touch them don't live. You're so pretty. This is for you. Hey. Do you hear that, Cecil? He thinks she's pretty. I, I, that was worth the run. That was worth the running. If I were, that's so way inclined, but I love you. He loves me. Technically speaking, he also loves me. How do you like them potatoes? <laughs> it's tomato. It's apples. <laughs> Listen, but I, I do have something to say. I think she's just like go for it. I mean it, it, it's I mean your personal life, that's really interesting. We I'm sure the listeners love hearing about your personal life, but um eh, are you gonna mention at all or are you even remotely concerned about the giant rolling cloud of Shut up, Steve! People need to know! People don't need to know. I don't know. Why do we need to know? I wanna know stuff. They need to no. tell them. No. Tell them. No. Tell them what's happening. Shut up! <laughs> Your voice are really high. Cecil, <laughs> you okay, buddy? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you, Jared. Okay. There's a question up there. Do we have time for one last question, Cecil? Oh, I think we might. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody wait, else wait, 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 you go there. Wait, no, what's up? I got a string of questions. Ooh, a string! That's like ball, but different. Um, Carlos? Yeah. Uh, wheat is in flour, right? Uh, yeah. And the flour is in, flour is in cookies, right? Yeah, um... So you've got a wheat and wheat byproduct in your pocket. So really? I am a rebel! <laughs> Rip out of box! I have a cost, of course I have a cost. You're right. I don't. Where's the rest of the string? Oh, I'm sorry, I ran out string. How long is it? You have to share a secret police. Oh! The lady with the hands that wants to hug me is here. <laughs> Kevin, have you ever had a crush on anyone in my belt? I know a dragon with some real nasties. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that supposed to mean something? Not to you. That's good to do. Not to you. Any other? Any other? <gasps> I get to hold the shiny. What have you done? Oh, yeah. What have you done? <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. What have you done? Everyone, I want you to get down. <laughs> down? Thank you. <laughs> 